um, they die. Almost all of them. And you realize that life isn't yours anymore. So this won't resonate for everyone, but for someone out there, the fact that you are here, stuck here, might be out of your control. Good morning, Virgo. Welcome to Curios Fates Tarot. I am Tess. I will be your guide today. As usual, if you're new here, please check out the description box below. I don't want to talk any more than that because I want to get into your decks, which I've already shuffled and talk about what the heck is going on at the bottom of these. On the bottom of your first deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles. The bottom of the second deck, you have the King of Pentacles. And the bottom of the third, you have the King of Pentacles reversed. Um, honestly, Virgo, any of these could be you. Oh, I just shifted this and I saw my camera. It says the lovers. This is a relationship reading. <laughs> I can tell you that already. <sighs> mm. I want to say love is in the air for Virgo, but I don't believe that's true. Sorry, going on so much lately. I don't believe it's true. Um, I don't know. Let's start. Yeah, devil reverse. That's that's okay. That's good. Releasing some energy. Knight of Wands reversed. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Eight of what is this? Wands. Eight of Wands. Queen of Swords reversed. Page of Cups reversed. Um, <sighs> I say you're releasing some ideas about something. Let's just move on before I speak. King of Pentacles. Now you have the Chariot reversed. The Seven of Swords. Temperance. Nine of Cups. Six of Swords reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. I'm just getting like hopes and wishes from this one, but like not reality. Like, wouldn't it be great if, and this one's almost just like giving up on the idea of the Queen of Pentacles. She almost seems like a fantasy. And the King of Pentacles reversed over here. I almost feel like this one is you, not the Four of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles reversed. Four of Pentacles though. Four of Cups reversed, Strength reversed, the Empress. Three of Wands reversed, Queen of Cups, High Priestess. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that <sighs> this is a love reading, but I don't know if there's any love anywhere. <laughs> King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is a true pair, but I feel like they don't exist. Like they're not real. Um. Okay. Let's get a theme card for today. This is the theme for Virgo's reading. The Waker Awareness Reflection. There's two cards of these in this deck. There's the Waker and the Sleeper. I wonder if I can find it quickly. Uh, nope. It's all black. It should be easy. Nope. Nope. Maybe not so easy. There it is. The reason I pulled this out 
is because I was getting a very like dreamlike energy from this, like a fantasy. But I was also saying like releasing the idea of it. So the sleeper is like, to me right now, even though the words don't say that, <laughs> You dream when you're asleep, but when you're awake, it's like the dream goes away. <laughs> and you're just left with the aftermath of it. As I was getting that, wouldn't it be nice energy? So you're aware that this isn't real and you're just reflecting on it, why it is that you want it, what it is that you want, and the fact that she's wearing a wedding dress is not lost on me. Um, can I get a few to start please? Let's start our story for Virgo, see what pops out. We have the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups reversed, and the Three of Pentacles. Just a breaking of an illusion. Let's say for some of you, you were in something, in some sort of relationship. And you've had some realization about it. But I want to say for a lot of you, I'm talking to single Virgos. Ten of Swords reversed. High Priestess reversed. Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Mm. You've figured something out. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a really... Um, deep energy from this. I want to say that. Not, not necessarily sad. <sighs> but like... just uh, clear in an almost depressing way. <laughs> it's like you've given up on your dreams. Mm, why am I getting such a... Oops, sorry. What is this energy... like I know that's not reality I'm going to push ahead start something new find something that I can work on it's like disappointment I guess like you're just disappointed I would say you're disappointed that nothing that you wanted was real I feel like maybe you're not listening to your intuition about something that's about what's happening here. Like, all right, let's just get more on this night. Knight of Cups for Virgo, please. Yeah. Eight of Swords. You just. <laughs> I want to say consumed. Consumed by your heart. Can I get more on this seven, please? The world reversed. And the world reversed. 
first. Can I get another one? Death. Five of Wands. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Devil reversed. You're just... Letting it go and moving on. But like what? <laughs> Whatever you're letting go of isn't finished. But it's just like... You've given up and you're going to force this change. And it's just like... I don't... You're tired. You're tired. You're so freaking tired. I'm really getting that. You're just so tired. Tired of trying. You might be in a relationship with someone and you're just... Can't see your own heart because you're just tired. I'm only getting that in my gut. It's so heavy. Like, this feeling that I'm getting is just so heavy. But, like, my heart will go on energy. <laughs> Celine Dion song. Even though... Too many. Let's try again. Three of Pentacles, please. Oh, geez. Okay, fine. Take a ton of cards. Something feels... I'm gonna say you feel like a zombie. <laughs> Just walking through life, going through the motions. We have the Eight of Wands, the Five of Swords, Page of Swords. Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Just, you work and 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 you work. For what? What are we working for? You don't know. <laughs> it's like working just to work. You're not feeling it. The love has... I don't even want to say love. I don't think there was love. Some of you might be in a relationship that's like just feels exhausting <laughs> I think for most of you there's just it seems like your goals are so far away you're just going through the motions Oh, 
like you've come to this. That's what it is. You're like reflecting on all of the things you've done, all of the work you've done, maybe all the relationships that you've had, all of the past experiences that you've had. And you are seeing no meaning in them whatsoever because they've gotten you nowhere. That's what you feel. I mean, I can only tell you what I'm feeling at this point, and that's what I'm feeling. Can we expand on this story, please? Patience. Have the patience for what? Like, I really got mad at that card just now. Like, really mad. And I feel like I got mad for you. Because I think you've had patience and you've been waiting. You've been waiting your ass off, Virgo. <laughs> And you've been working and you've been trying. And I think you've been doing it for a very, 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 very long time. And so you reflected on all this work and where it's gotten you. And you said, nowhere. And so now you're willing to walk away. So when I saw patience after absorbing all of this energy <sighs> and the nine of cups like I really just wanted to say <laughs> F you <laughs> F you universe I've been patient I have waited on my victory that never came. Waited and waited and waited and waited. And I think you have been very strong. Very, very, very strong. Ah, this reading's upsetting me. Um, feeling very frustrated, like with the universe. And I think you are too. <laughs> and that's why I want to say consumed with your heart. Like, anyway. Four of Wands reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed. Two of Swords. Knight of Pentacles came out. Chariot reversed. And the Seven of Swords reversed. It's just nothing's come together. And whoever this King of Pentacles is, it's not you. I thought maybe it was, but it's not. Either you're with this King of Pentacles, maybe another Earth sign, but whatever. And they're not doing anything like they're not moving or you're waiting for this king of pentacles and they ain't coming and you are clear on that and you're just dropping it um can i get more on this for Actually, no, sorry, changed my mind. Can I see this King of Pentacles, please? Can I see him? Can you show me this King of Pentacles? Page of Cups reversed. 
love, just early love, you might have your eye on someone. Something that's kind of just started, but it's not going anywhere. Something that you want to start, but it's not starting at all. Page of Swords reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, it's not happening. <sighs> he is just someone who is not happening. <laughs> it's like dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. <sighs> Why is this a dead end? Can I get more on the chariot reversed? Why is it not going anywhere? Whoa. Hmm. I'll just get one for why it's not going anywhere. <laughs> I want to say because it's not love, but it's nobody's working at it. Okay. It's like this, seeing this one, I, I was going through and I just said, stop. And then the fact that it came patience again, like the temperance card, was just like, stop telling me to be patient. Just stop. Don't even, like, don't look at this one. <laughs> it's going to make you mad. But it's just, nobody's working at it. Nobody's bothering to do the work. <laughs> like, that's all there is to it. This isn't going anywhere because nobody's working at it. I really think that there's like someone in the, in your space who you know is around. Whether you're with this person or just want to be with this person or trying to be with this person. It's like early stages of a relationship. I just, nobody's doing anything. No one wants to take on the burden of this. I think you're both tired, to be honest. What's this seven? Seven of swords. wounds? No, that's not it. So I would say like wrestling candy from a lion. <laughs> like, um, in order to make something happen here, you'd have to like shove it down someone's throat because they're just not moving towards you. Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups. <sighs> What's this decision that's been made? Two of Swords? You're just saying nope. <laughs> nope. Might have been in the past for some of you. 
something that you've already left, something that you've already rejected. Because getting this person to put in the work was like trying to shove, shove it down their throat and force them to do it and take them by the hand and walk them, drag them across the threshold. I think it's very possible this was in the past for some of you. And the fact that we had that Queen of Pentacles from this deck. She was wearing that wedding dress. I'm going to say getting someone to move forward in the relationship was just impossible. And now you're just done with it and like reflecting on your life choices. <laughs> What's this Knight of Wands reversed? Wheel of Fortune. The four of Wands. That's just the Four of Wands is what it is. There was no stable foundation there. One, two, three. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, wait one second. For some of you, this was a marriage or like a mar like a very committed relationship that ended. Maybe you were trying to get married. <laughs> this ended a while ago for whoever this message is for, but this person never moved forward and dragged their heels the whole time. The whole time, the whole way, because they were never meant for you. You were never meant to be together. They were meant to teach you something else. There was a lesson here that you needed to learn. Um, well, I think there was a lesson here that everyone needs to learn. Obviously. So I think this reflective moment here where you're breaking the illusion and really thinking about what happened and why it went wrong is a very important moment for you. Very important. Can we expand on this just a little bit? Why is this so important? Emperor reverse the Eight of Swords. So you could reject it. Can I get more on this Emperor? Whoa. Whoa there. The Sun. And more on this Ace of Swords, please. So you could figure out what makes you happy. But we're not happy. <laughs> We're not happy at all right now. <laughs> Judgment reversed. That is the card I get a lot when I am <sighs> angry at my guides. Like, oh, kitty, shush. I get frustrated sometimes we all go through <sighs> hard times <laughs> we all go through hard times and um it's that same feeling i was getting when i saw temperance and the nine of cups that was just like just be patient just be patient 
And I immediately thought like, F you, seriously, I've been patient. I've been put through the ringer, screw you. And to see the judgment card here <laughs> reversed, um, I almost always get that card. Like when I start having those feelings, it's just like the gods letting me know, just stop, stop fighting us. Of course we have your best interest at heart. Just don't fight us. So there was some change that needed to take place here and it wasn't. And so whatever this situation was, it was fated to happen to make this change so that you could make a decision about what it is that makes you happy and what it is that you need. <sighs> but right now, things seem really bleak. Um, and I don't blame you. Uh, can I get some advice? Oh no, let's do these ones. Can I get some advice, please, for Virgo? What? Really? Dream, magic, and adaptation. Uh, Capricorn got magic and adaptation, too. And I shuffled these decks really well after. Like, really, really, really well. Okay. Adaptation, magic and dream listen to your dreams honestly um, when I get this card it almost always comes with physical actual dreams <laughs> okay so really pay attention tonight to your dreams because I think your intuition or your guides are going to be telling you something and now magic. Tis the season. Actually, it's not. I wouldn't be doing magic right now. Not this April. Um, wait till May. <laughs> if you're going to do it now, just conserve your energy and way watch for it. Just maybe. Yeah. Anyway, I don't have to get into that adaptation I think that one's pretty obvious like like I said this needed to happen so you could reflect and make changes so what do we do when we reflect and make changes when you make a decision about what it is that'll bring you joy you adapt to that change you adapt to those decisions well, let's see if they have anything else to say about it yeah take off the this is meant to release you from, from yourself and maybe even from this situation, but you also need to release yourself. You've been released. Okay. I'll say that, but now you need to release yourself. It's time to let go of all those negative emotions and realize that you're not stuck. You can adapt and move on. What's this magic? What you asking? Um, Queen of Wands. I'm. <laughs> All right. If you are someone who is into spell work or manifestation and all those types of things. Uh, start manifesting. Start manifesting hard. You're being really, really, really uh, given the go-ahead here to start manifesting and doing. If you are into spell work, go ahead, do it. Now's the time. Four of Cups reversed, Strength reversed, the Empress, Three of Wands reversed, and the Queen of Cups. Um, just for emotional, like for yourself, don't try and bring anything in. Try and grow. Don't look uh, into the future. 
about what it is that you want and need. Like, focus on healing and nurturing yourself. So, um, I'm going to say energy cleanse. Do lots of energy cleanses. Something to help you gain back your strength. Rest. And do something creative uh, to bring meaning back into your life. Like, something really meaningful for you a creative project write journal artwork because art is magic whether or not y'all want to believe that ten of pentacles reverse the hermit two of pentacles seven of cups death you're going through a hard time right now and I mean Now's not the time to push forward towards new goals necessarily, but go inward and really scratch at the depth of your emotions. <sighs> Nurture yourself. I'm just going to say that. Nurture yourself. It's time to rest. This month, everybody should be resting. Okay? Everybody. Save those projects and fun things till May, please. <laughs> uh, dream. So you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles reversed here on the bottom. Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Start thinking about what it is that you do want to work towards. Pay attention to your dreams, yes, but also dream big. Dream with your heart. Figure out what gives you joy and think of new paths forward and what you could do, what you could work on. Nine of Cups reversed as well. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, don't move forward though, okay? And if you do move forward, <sighs> things aren't going to feel nice right now. <laughs> They're not. You are going to feel... Just now's not the time. That's what I want to say. Keep this in the realm of intuition and emotions and yourself. But don't put any expectations on anything right now. Which I don't think you are. The first part of the spread we got was very much this energy that I'm getting. I'm like, I'm... This is the same energy. Your advice energy is the same, a little more optimistic, as the energy that I got at the beginning. I trying not to keep going. What the hell is wrong with me? Grr. I think I'm tired. I need to rest too. We all need to rest this month, okay? Everybody. Everybody needs to freaking rest this month. Got that download like 6,000 times the past few days. April, rest. Everybody rest. Rest. Um, sorry, your advice energy is very much the same energy of the first part of the spread we got, which was... Um, Just that illusion breaking, looking at everything you're doing and being like, where's it gotten me? Where's it gotten me? And though this is asking you to 
look inside your emotions and really, again, reflect. The Queen of Cups here, she's like looking in the fishbowl. She's looking into the water and I imagine she's, it's reflecting herself back to her, but also what's underneath her reflection, which is that little fish that's swimming around, if that makes sense. And so you're being asked to just do what you're doing. Keep doing it. It hurts and it sucks. And you feel like crap. Just keep doing it. Because whatever's happening right now needs to happen. Okay, so let's get you an outcome. Outcome for Virgo. All right. <laughs> yeah, release. Releasing. Releasing these past relationships, past it's grief, grieving. No, oh, sorry, just hit my microphone. You're grieving all the things that you didn't get. <laughs> all <sighs> okay. Um. All right. I got that. Yeah. Okay. I will. I will. Digression quickly. Um. I just got something whispered in my ear. Um. For some of you, or one of you, someone <laughs> out there, uh, this was a marriage that fell apart, and you also have children. <laughs> okay, you have to ki you have kids. <laughs> I didn't see that in the cards anywhere. So someone somewhere has kids though. But you got the the empress is the ma a mother, and I mean, there's lots of different people out there. Oh, you got the six of cups too. Oh. What was that on top of? Ace of Pentacles. And now you're a single mom. Okay. Anyway, the message I got for this person who is a single mom who got out of a marriage or a relationship with the other half of... <laughs> parents the the person who helped them make the kids oh my god words um it's okay to grieve your dreams that's what i'm going to say it's okay to grieve your dreams and i think we've all had Like, when you have kids, why am I going, um, sorry, that is something that mothers go through a lot, and fathers too, maybe, to a lesser extent, um, we get stuck in this role of something that we have to do, and I mean, we love our kids, I'm not saying that. But all the dreams and the, the wishes and things that we wanted for ourselves when we were younger, pre-kids, things that we were working towards, um, they die. Almost all of them. And you realize that life isn't yours anymore. So this won't resonate for everyone, but for someone out there, the fact that you are here, stuck here, might be out of your control but it's okay to grieve your dreams and move on and you just have to make new ones what are the new dreams that you're going to create and there's the ace of wands there too new dreams 
And even if you don't have kids, um, I think it's the same. If you have high hopes for something that you want and we get on in life and realize that those things aren't coming and maybe they're an impossibility, um, we make new dreams. We make new goals. New things that we can do and we release the old ones. And I think for a lot of you, that's releasing love, this love, letting it go, making new, new ideas of what love could look like, what your life can look like moving forward. And so this state that you're in, this period, I think we're just looking at like a transitionary period for you. Um, you're not being really asked to do a whole lot other than sit with it, work through it. Just let it be. Have patience. Ugh. Patience. Don't rush yourself. When we rush ourselves, we give up on ourselves. It's like... <sighs> Seriously. I don't know what this is. <laughs> the past like three or four days. You know what it is. And my allergies are like insane right now. So I can't get oxygen through my nose. Like I'm so stuffed. Can't wait till spring is over. Anyway. I don't remember what I was saying because I got distracted with yawns and sniffles. So <sighs> I'm just going to leave it there. Right. That's what I was going to say. Um, don't give up on yourself by trying to feel better. Your inner child, your shadow, like it's reaching out to you right now. So reach back. Take its hand and work through some of this stuff. And a dark night of the soul coming your way. Though I don't feel like it's dark night of the soul. I feel like it's um, a tired dusk <laughs> or dawn. This is more tiring and low and lethargic than anything else. It's not super depressed. It's just sort of like, all right, here we are. And so stay with it. Stick with it. Have patience. So you're going to come out with something new. I don't know what though. But it's a ways away. So it's a ways away. I kind of want to find out how far away. Um... I, maybe it's up to you. It's probably up to you. It's going to be different for everyone. Do you have anything else to tell me? Okay. The Six of Swords. Any idea of when the Six of Swords can be turned around? When do we start seeing movement here? At what point do we start seeing movement? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Why the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Hmm. Queen of Pentacles reversed. When you give up on the idea of her for good? No. <sighs> I think when you stop fighting this. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, you just need to work through some stuff. <laughs> I think this is going to be the reality for a while. And that's okay. All right. Because the only way out is in and through, through and in. All right. Go inward. Be brave. Go inward. Hermit, Wheel of Fortune. This isn't up to you so much. Something that needs to happen here. And until it happens, changes are not coming. But they will. Once this happens, <laughs> not sure exactly what's happening. Like, um, <clears throat> deconstruct yourself. Like, really, that's what I'm full heartedly getting. Deconstruct yourself on every level. Okay? Take it all apart. Really, really, really look into it. Like, look inside. Um, about every little step along the way and every piece of yourself and really, really, really know who you are. Because I think that's how you move forward here. There's not going to be any forward movement until you know exactly who you are. You are totally 100% self-aware. That's what you're being asked. So... Uh, get started. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. I have a card to flip over in here. Oh, Jesus. Of course I did. Of course I did. Um, I saw that there was a card here flipped over. So I looked at it. And it's judgment reversed again. On top of the Ace of Cups, Justice. Yeah. Um, just do it. <laughs> the gods are planning something and they're not necessarily forthcoming about what it is. They're saying, just do it. Just do this and then we can talk. Okay, Virgo? All right, this is definitely not what you wanted to hear. It's not what I wanted to tell you, but this is the path forward for you if you've resonated seriously oh, I'm going to punch my own image in my computer screen if I yawn one more time alright Virgo this was interesting um, I will see you next time okay bye